I'm here today with Sean Wilkinson at the Board Monkey, which is one of the many sponsors for the Narrabeen Sharks Football Club. So Sean, tell us about your role and how long you and your family have been involved in the club. Well Grant, my role as president is to look after our Sharkies families, making sure our kids grow up and learn footy in a you know, really good environment. Um, for me myself, um, I played A grade for 10 years, I played 16s, 18s, right. um, besides that, uh, I've got both my kids playing, I've got my eldest boy Bowden who's uh, under 13, has been playing for 8 years, my other boy Kaiden who's 9, he's playing in under 9s and he's been playing for 6 years. Wow. Um, I coach two under nines teams, so I've been coaching for seven years. I also treasure for three years, vice president for two, and currently my first year is being the president, which should, I'm really enjoying. Should be more people like you in the clubs. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, we love doing it, so it's good. Yeah, and it's okay. a great club. Yeah, it sure is. And um, I hear there's been massive changes over the years with the Narrabeen Sharks Football Club. And can you tell us about your guidance with the A graders and the junior players to keep them in line with the, uh, the, the core culture of it, you know, doing with loyalty, reliability yep. and yep. teammanship? Well, I think as president, you really have to still be involved at the ground level. You know, you need to be there. I think you need to help train, at least train, coach, supporting these kids, you know. And it's a big part of it. You need to be there with them all, all the time. And with A grade, um, well, I think it helps being an ex-player. Mm. To be an ex-player, you know, I think you gain a bit more respect. Um, the current two A grade coaches, um, Frank and Shane, I played a lot of years at A grade with those guys. So okay. I think through that, you know, the players tend to, I think, get a bit of respect out of you. So you, you're really a, a bit of a mentor for a lot of the, the players there these days. Yeah, well, I, I don't know about me, but um, yeah, <laughs> the coaches, you know, they do a great job yeah, and, yeah. and they've got great sponsors on board, so it's, you know, they've got a really good setup. Okay, okay. And I understand we've got four teams in the grand finals this Sunday. Which yeah. teams got through? So this weekend we've got our under nine Maroons, and our, which I coach, and our under nine uh, Whites, both playing at Brookvale Oval at mm -hmm. um, 8.15. Um, then we've got our under 13 Silvers, they're playing at uh, Nolan's right. at uh, 115. And then on Sunday is the big one, we've got our A grade playing at Brookvale Oval at um, 3 o'clock against the Burrell Wallabies, which will be huge. Go the Sharkies. Yes. Hey. So tell us a little bit more about the A grade and what's expected from the boys on Sunday. Well, you know, this year the A grades really come together as a little t tight sort of um, setup. Um, Basically, we've got to edit that little bit because yeah. I started on it. So, so A grades really come together well this year. You know, they've got a uh, great lot of guys, some really good sponsors on board, and um, you know they've been a dominant force throughout the year. You know, they um, they ended up with the minor premiership, and I really think yeah, and I really think that they can carry that form in this weekend and take out the prestigious um, A grade premiership for. Um, 2018. I get excited just listening to it. Yeah, no, it's going to be a great day down there. Okay, and how would you, um, why would you like to see more locals and their families get involved in the club next season? Well, I think, you know, all you have to do is come down on Saturday morning to Lake Park and, you know, watch these under, like the under sixes, under sevens running around having so much fun. You know, yeah. these kids running, tackling, passing the ball around, they just have a ball and the way we run things down there, you know, it's, it's you know, the, the, the parents have been saying this year, they're so impressed with it. Yeah. And, you know, these kids, you know, they're the motor, their motor skills and um, the confidence they get, you know, being able to mm. tackle and do all these physical things, it really puts them in a good position, you know, growing and be getting confident as, you know, growing men and women as they get older. No, well, that's great. So that was great insight from Sean about the local football club, the, the Narrabeen Sharks, and also looking forward to the grand final this weekend. And we're all very proud of the Sharkies, so we should all get down to Brookvale this Sunday and cheer on our team. Go Sharkies. Go the Sharkies.